All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, responsive web design. Learn basic CSS by building a cafe menu, step 21. All right. Uh, if you're noticing a completely different audio quality, that's because this is however many months later and they made some changes to this, so I got to do a redo for you guys. All right, so that being said, let's go through this. The goal now is to make a, pardon me, make the div not take up the entire width of the page. The CSS, pardon me, CSS width property is perfect for this. All right, it sure is. Uh, so we can use the ID selector to target a specific div element. An ID selector is defined by a name with a hash symbol directly in front of it, like this. So we would do something like this, hashtag and then example hyphen ID. And it doesn't even need to have a, a hyphen or anything like that. But yeah, so it'd be kind of like this. So what we're gonna do is use the hashtag menu selector to give our element a width of 300 pixels. So whenever you see uh, the hashtag in front of something inside of the CSS, that means it's targeting the uh, the ID of whatever it says, right? So we're going to give that, use the menu ID selector. Mm, all right, so we're gonna, just going to make a new one. Uh, so let's go under these uh, H2s and H1s and just do hashtag menu like this, menu, and then let's have the curly braces like this. And then we're going to give it a width, width of 300, whoops, 300 PX thusly. Let's cap it off with a semicolon for best practice. Uh, let's see what happened. Okay, so as we see, it's here. And then when we take out the comments, it moves over like that. All right, so let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 22 and... See you next time.